What's up, everybody? Right now, we're going to talk about DHEA. Um, so right off the bat, it is a, a, a supplement that has been around for a while. It had its peaks and valleys in terms of consumer, um, I guess you could say, interest. And now it's been coming back up in recent years. Um, and there's a reason why. So basically, DHEA is one of the most abundant, actually, it is the most abundant type of hormone that's naturally produced in our body because our body uses it to create all the other, or most of the other sex hormones and other hormones that uh, are derivatives from DHEA. Naturally created in our body, it stems from cl our cholesterol intake. It is uh, created by the adrenal glands uh, and in, in the males, it's also in the testes. Uh, so the body converts it to androstenedione, I can't even uh, pronounce it, and leads to increased testosterone. A little side note on this, I would look into, we have an awesome product that I really like, Estrogenic, the uh, second generation, that has a, a couple of um, natural ingredients that act as aromatase inhibitors, only because if you're going to take something like DHEA, and you're going to be increasing your testosterone, you'll, with that, you'll also increase that ratio that test gets converted into estrogen. Um, so when you have an aromatase inhibitor um, that inhibits the aromatase enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen. So if you take DHEA, I would recommend estrogenics as well. Um, it could also increase growth hormone levels, improve bone density, promotes heart health, con controls cholesterol levels, fights fatigue, lowers inflammation, helps with recovery. Um, one of the other great things I like about it is it helps increase glucose metabolism and your body's efficiency to utilize glucose for energy. And with that comes a, um, a boost in metabolism and it can help you in your fat loss journeys if you're low in DHEA to begin with. Um, because as we age, DHEA production sharply declines. Um, and especially if you're approaching 30 or just over 30 and above, those are like the prime market for people to invest and look into DHEA. There's a lot of products out there, um, and we'll you know we'll drop a link to uh, in the description to uh, some of them. Um, but generally, you're looking at about 25 to 50 milligrams per day. If you're going into the 100 to 200, which people do because it does have a obviously a bigger effect in the higher range then definitely incorporate an AI like estrogenics or something with it just so you're getting all the good without the bad. Now, the thing about DHEA is that for women too, they could benefit from taking it because, like I said, it modulates your hormones. It helps with testosterone and estrogen, and both males and females have both, uh, and it just depends on what your body needs and wants to produce. Um, and again, just if you want to really track what it's doing, I would recommend getting blood work done before taking it and then blood work done after about a month of doing around 25 to 50 milligrams per day. See how you feel. A lot of people notice great um, uh, bouts of energy in and out of the gym, a better sense of well-being. It has cognitive health uh, benefits. It has um, antidepressive benefits. So this isn't just a muscle building uh, supplement. There's a whole host of it. I encourage you to do some more research on it too. Test it out for yourself. Log your progress and let us know. Um, that pretty much wraps up DHEA as a, as a whole. One also little side note, if you're into college sports, look into some of the organizations do ban DHEA because they believe that it's a little too effective and it gives it uh, competitors a little bit too much of a competitive edge. So just double check that. Otherwise, you're good. So if you like this video, please like our video, subscribe to our channel. Any questions, comments you want me to dive into, leave them below. We'll address them. And as always, thank you for watching.